that. And we'll do a little refresh. And there we are. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is what is this? Today is June 26, 2020, and we're doing a live stream open discussion but mainly a live stream of me sharing my sources of news and information. Okay, I've had a lot of requests um, over the last few weeks, few couple of months, really, because the news cycle has kicked up to start sharing some of my sources of information and whatnot. And we've done a few of these before. I think we've done like three or four of these before the last two, three years or so because I've continuously had people request um, I put in a request for me to share my sources of information and uh, we did a few of these uh, and uh, this is the most recent one I guess we're going to do for 2020 cycle and uh, just to give you a heads up uh, the first one of these I believe that we did um, that we loaded on YouTube as well YouTube flagged okay and they removed it and I had to dispute the removal and then they reinstated it okay so we will be loading this on youtube uh but it will definitely go on bitshoot as well so if it gets flagged on youtube again because we have some sources here that youtube might not agree with they don't want you know the powers that be the technocrats don't want this information to be spreading around uh if they end up flagging it i will dispute it and i will try to get it back up on youtube if it gets taken down okay uh, aside from that welcome everyone i want to do my little intro ripper how are you doing good evening chicho how are you doing well doing well resting resting splash 60 hello hello how are you doing twitch prime sub thank you very much for the twitch prime sub uh you've been a member i don't recognize your name by the way graham how are you doing i couldn't make it last night it is not going on youtube uh, is is it go is it not going it will this will be going on youtube youtube took down i believe the first one of these we did uh they took it down earlier this year and i was like i was pretty pissed that they took it down because i'm just sharing sources of news and information and i disputed it and then they reinstalled it reinstated it okay hex 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 to how are you doing hey chicho fell asleep early in yesterday's stream of lot i enjoyed lurking and taking in what everyone has to say so i might not chat too much but i love listening awesome enjoy the stream this is mainly going to be me going through my sources of info i've compiled a little bit of a few links here that you see in the notepad uh, that I've opened up here. So we're going to go through it and I'm just going to give you a lowdown of uh, what's what. Let me give, do my little intro. You're going to get a little, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, multiple chichos happening as I turn on our uh, our little links and stuff. Catholic traditionalists, how are you doing? Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, just so just so you know who I am, where I'm coming from, where you can get this information, I am on Patreon. If you want to follow this work, if you want to support this work, Patreon is a great place to be and to follow this work. Okay. Uh, and that's patreon.com uh, backslash chicho, C H Y C H O. I'm just checking to make sure our lapel mic is recording because uh, yesterday's stream, I filled up the our recorder, so I had to delete everything and a couple of times i've forgotten to press the play button right so we will be uploading this on soundcloud as well but i'll get to that uh emily how are you doing welcome welcome so if you want to support this work a patreon is a good way to do uh, i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons uh, if you don't have the funds to support this work with funds you can just follow and see what we're uploading okay uh, i haven't made there isn't even one post that I've made that's subscriber only, but just to let the subscribers know, those who've been supporting this work through Patreon and through Twitch as well and, and YouTube and directly, thank you very much for the support. It is because of you that I'm able to do this work as often as I'm, as I'm able to do it, right? And plan into the future, right? So I really, really do appreciate it, okay? We are live streaming this on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash Chicho Live, C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. You can follow, you can subscribe on Twitch, you can come here, participate in the chat live in these open discussions. And we have a great community here. Okay, a lot of information being shared. Um, it's a nice place to be. 
I do announce these live streams on Twitter, Gabs, Minds, VK, Elo, and I just today added Parlor on there. I'll try to include all the links in the description of this video, okay? Decentralizing, decentralizing, going on multiple platforms, right? Just in case the sensors kick in and the technocrats decide certain types of information should not be shared, right? Uh, we will be uploading the audio of this to SoundCloud, soundcloud.com backslash chicho, C H Y C H O. Okay, so a lot of people have asked me over the years to include the stuff in audio format, and that's what we're doing. Okay, uh, there's a lot more content to be loaded on SoundCloud in the next few months, couple of years. Okay, we've got 900 plus. Well, I don't think we're going to be uploading all the 900 plus videos that we have on youtube on soundcloud because i didn't record everything on the lapel mic but there's at least 400 up there that we can do right and the videos will be going on to youtube and bit shoot okay and uh, uh technical difficulties permitting on bit shoot and uh sensors permitting on youtube this will go on youtube if they decide to take it down c'est la vie c'est la vie i will try to dispute it okay aside from that i'm going to get uh, caught up with the chat just to make sure i know uh who's popping in spider-man spider-man hey chicho and chichonians padre 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 how are you doing and by the way gang tomorrow's reading partial contribution by padre okay with uh, mad number two Thank you very much for the support, Padre, brother. Good evening, Chicho. It is my birthday. Happy birthday, Abdullah. Hope you're doing well. Zyrek, how are you doing? Hello, everyone. Hope all is well. Doing well, doing well. Happy birthday. Which, which, uh, which generation are you? Which decade are you in? Absurdicon, how are you doing? Let me take these guys down. Now I can take this guy down. Okay, cool. I basically have chat popped up. I got my little notepad up here. Gina, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho and chat. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Holden Who's, hello, hello. How are you doing? Let's do a little thank you with the emotes. Let's see what we've got opened up. Oh, that's a nice koala bear. <laughs> what is it? Pride koala. <laughs> 24 today 24 nice nice i remember 24 i had my head up my uh so i'm assuming you guys because we didn't have internet back then not to this level right so it was a little more chaotic less information could be had you really had to dig down so uh i hope uh i'm positive just the encounter i've had with uh people here and just online uh, you guys are a lot smarter than i was when i was in my 20s okay so kudos to you kudos to you vc how are you doing hello hello Ch -ch -ch. what's up man doing good brother doing good should we start going through this should we should we go through some of the stuff goldilocks how are you doing 19 tomorrow congrats your this is your last year of teens oh my oh my i remember those days crazy days crazy days okay we got the uh, inception going on here so let me go to our bookmarks okay this is brave browser let me make sure this is turn it out okay yeah it looks okay cool okay this is the brave browser okay gang um i figured i'd open up a new browser uh to share information we'll call compile the stuff here and this is basically what we're going to do we're going to take the information that you see here and create bookmarks here and i went ahead and i created you know some bookmarks here um just to let you know because people have been asking me to share information okay uh regarding actually we have it here regarding you know news and information and it's not just about me there's a lot of other people sharing you have sources of good information so if you want to follow sort of the information that we're sharing within our community we have a discord page okay join the discord page there's multiple folders here there's light topics here okay that has animation art asmr and all that jazz goes all the way down to heavy topics here okay where 
we got biology, heavy books, censorship, COVID, documentaries, whatnot. And you can scroll all the way down to politics, health, lectures. And sometimes I double post, triple post. Some, some people double post if there's multiple things that are related together. For example, privacy and politics are very much related to each other. So, you know, you can find some of the information in both folders or whatnot. So if you want to follow the stuff uh, in you know as we're sharing information join the discord page okay you'll find a link in uh, our main twitch page and uh, i think this should work if i just link this up okay in chat so let me bring up my chat again here's our chat okay and i'll try to have the chat going uh, to keep track of what's going on Hannah, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, I'm house sitting uh, this weekend, and me and my girlfriend are gonna use some. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you always come here. Medicinal herb is what uh, what your life revolves around, which is okay. But I hope you got other things going on, brother. While devouring some chips and ice cream with <laughs> fire pen, <laughs> sounds like a great weekend. <laughs> By the way, Hannah, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Ripper, Chicho, sorry. I know it's not a comic stream, but didn't want to. Or forget love out ripper what's uh what did you say ripper oh there's a, a thing here spider-man dude's name just reminded me chicho you opened the comic hall a while ago where you got the secret war series issue number one has just hit the hot key issue list as it features the first appearance of a character that is rumored to introduce uh latveria into the marvel cinematic universe the book has shot up 1300 percent last week <laughs> crazy awesome actually that's super cool uh, that that series is a fantastic series by the way great series ripper thanks for the heads up i should have grabbed more of number ones right uh but we can only buy so much we can only buy so much we can't buy it all hey hey elder god how are you doing uh, and by the way, I'm going to give you guys my comic sources of news and information as well, right? So if this is not just politics, politics, economics. There will be economics. There's a lot of politics and comic books as well. What uh, have your sources been saying about these new changes on us, uh, uh, charges? Uh, they're, they're garbage. The new charges, any charges on Assange is garbage, right? That, that's all. Uh, but I'll share some of the information, uh, news sources that I follow uh, regarding Julian Assange, okay. Uh, M1K Hicho, how long has the stream been live for? Just a few minutes. Uh, been looking forward to the updated sources list. Uh, yeah, just a few minutes, uh, brother. So uh, we're gonna go through it. Padre, padre. Looking forward to the mad reading. Just watch uh, Miriam Williamson explain her take on vaccines and those going after her for being anti vax. Just another thing that you are either totally for or against it, if you're on the spec on the extreme spectrums right it's crazy you can't question anything about the current state of vaccination at all without being <laughs> labeled that yeah it's insane insane which is one of the reasons i'm sharing this information right uh, and people wanting it as well dice power how are you doing how long have you been using uh, brave i've had brave on the other computer i've been using it for the last uh, six months and i just loaded it on this one okay for this stream specifically so we're gonna i'm gonna start using brave and by the way just so you know i have five different browsers going okay for different things that i do okay i when i say decentralized i really mean de decentralized okay um i put it on my parents computer and when they got a uh virus staples said brave was the likely culprit oops i didn't really believe it but i've avoided this since just to be super cautious okay i hope not uh, but i haven't had any problems with it yet finally chicho papa the next level the next level <laughs> you have a great comic collection too lark thank you very much i appreciate it ripper i saw that so uh, um, secret war is number one shot up and that's the original right from the 1980s we're not talking about uh the 2000s right oh man when doom gets his mcu debut <laughs> that book is going to skyrocket <laughs> how's everybody in zare how's life okay gang i'm going to start going through this list okay i'll check 
chat as often as I can as I can but it sort of disappears when I load on the pages and stuff right well that is exhausting yeah VC absurd Conchicho. what other browsers do you use secret wars the 2000s oh the 2000s secret wars nice nice I got two copies of each I got two copies of those and I bought those dirt cheap man ripper so the 2000s secret wars not the 1980s secret wars okay okay yeah the 2000s secret wars I bought man I bought those I think two sets like less than cover price like way less than cover price right that's the beauty of buying sets of comics when they're not hot because if and it is it's going to continuously grow then they're going to introduce more and more characters and they're just going to go psh, 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 psh. coolio chicho i got in a facebook discussion that was uh, so ridiculous i think it should be framed in the smithsonian <laughs> facebook people man crazy i have the og secret wars number one nice me too me too that side is amazing okay gang check this out now discord go to our discord page you'll find the links um it should take you there they'll be this in the description of this video once it's loaded on youtube and BitChute. you can find the discord link on all most of our videos over the last three years two years at least anyway okay so you can follow sharing information and whatnot here's one person that just showed up today <laughs> just now right oh yeah there's the discord thank you very much elder god in chat okay now the other place that you should always check is wikileaks okay just keep your eyes on it visit it every now and then scroll down they got a search engine you can search keywords if something really interests you search it okay do a search for and see where it takes you right do a search for and see where it takes you right do a search for whatever you want and see where it takes you we've done a reading of three of the wikileaks releases in the last four years five years right and they are extremely extremely important uh <laughs> no i don't think they have the secret doma recipe but it's not secret i'll be sharing that man nothing behind a paywall nothing secret right transparency okay so you can scroll through this and see what they got and you can go up here go into the leaks section click here go into the news section click here and just scroll and see what interests you we did the reading for vault 7 one of the most important leaks in human history right in our present iteration of civilization for the last hundred years what the united states government has been doing how technology has been read it we got news there's news press releases and not stuff about partners and whatnot so check wikileaks every now and then okay if you got time read them now we're gonna do now i'm not sure if i'm gonna bookmark these as we go because we've got a lot of things going on okay i've created a bookmark tabs here you know i just added a couple of things on here like if you go to our economics i added armstrong blogs uh zero hedge i haven't added all everything that we have here in this notepad there yet right but one of the ones that i one place where i get information is armstrong economics and i'm just gonna say this I, i've said this multiple times and i continue to say this always i don't necessarily agree and i don't agree a hundred percent with any of these websites that i am sharing with you okay really so everything that i'm sharing is about information because to be really informed you have to have a spectrum you have to know what's going on across the board do not live in a bubble bubble leads to disasters they pop and everything goes kabooey right get a full-blown spectrum right so for example armstrong Eco economics this is martin armstrong he is extremely well versed educated experienced in global markets if you want to know what's going on geopolitically 
in terms of economics with an economics slant armstrong economics is what you want to be following one of them read his i don't i don't subscribe to him he's got a algorithm sort of an ai algorithm that runs predictions and it, they're pretty damn good they're very very good okay so um i don't have the program i don't read anything that's for subscribers only like he does you know market talk oh, he doesn't have anything here usually you know private blog is for people who subscribe and whatever i don't read that stuff i, I don't even read the market talk because what i read is his take and the analysis regarding um some of the information he's sharing right i read all of them even even if i disagree with them right he he is uh well i'm not gonna say which way each one slants right uh but it's well worth reading gang okay well worth reading the other one i follow regarding economics i don't check it i've been checking it more often in the past but i haven't been checking it recently for the last few months but it's a good source of economic news and again it's got a geopolitical slant to it but it's not as wise as armstrong economics it gives you the noise as well okay armstrong economics filters out the noise to a certain degree it gives you the larger picture zero hedge brings it down a little bit and follows the noise factor right and it's not bad to know that that short-term blips that are taking place right so zero hedge is also a good place to seek out that you know economic news and information now initially i was going to link all this stuff up on chat but i think what i'll do i'll i'll just post all the links once we load up the video to youtube and bit okay and as well as the audio to soundcloud okay if that's okay with you guys if um if uh if you guys want these links right now i can post them in chat let me know i got chat open right now okay uh knights of old comic chicho thanks for your advice today uh chicho uh it's really really tough uh nice of old comic my pleasure brother my pleasure and if if you need anything else just let me know send me a message okay uh if i can i'll be if i have any opinions or whatever um, i'll share them with you freely openly so uh and that goes with everyone right if i'm hard consider it hard love okay i have a question am i obliged to keep up with news no a gram good question by the way gang you don't need to keep up with and it, I, I don't want to say it's, it's noise, all of it, because politics rules, governs our lives right now, right? Because they pass laws telling us as free thinking, independent, uh, self-aware human beings what we can and cannot do in our lives, right? So to a certain degree, for me, I took it upon myself to learn about politics because I want to know what's coming, right? I want to know what they're doing. I want to know how i can maneuver through the system right but you're not obliged to follow politics if you don't want to follow this information if it's too much don't do it too much in terms of leaves you with a bad taste for life don't follow it you can follow you can entertain yourself consume information based on your beliefs your your spirituality your your well-being your health food nature comic books whatever you want right as long as you understand centralized powers the stories will be the same but society will be organized the same way to a certain degree the man the legend smith how are you doing uh okay so zero hedge is pretty good for not bad okay uh way better than anything uh related to um what do you call it corporate propagandist right and by the way armstrong economics here let me just take you back here is oh no because i opened up the thing uh, bum, bum, bum. if we go to armstrong economics i haven't been uh, following his media here he's got media here okay so if you go to media oops media and you go to interviews and press this interview that he has here uh was it washington Barack? hold on a second media this one here was really really good i listened to this one 
on June 16th and uh, very good. It sort of condenses a lot of things that Martin's been talking about for the last couple of years, more than that. I've been following his work for a number of years now. Okay, so it's a very good introduction to who he is and what he's sharing uh, from 2020. If you just click on media up here, boop, okay, it'll take you to Martin Armstrong's media appearances and it's an audio interview well worth listening to. It's about 45 minutes. Okay. Other economic news I follow. I sometimes follow the Kaiser report. I check in every now and then, see if I'm interested, if I'm up for listening to Kaiser talk, right? Paper uprising, fiat spring. So there's a, there's a fair bit of noise involved here. Kaiser has his own agenda to a certain degree, like everyone else. Okay. But it's not bad. And you know what? Since I copy, I'm copying and pasting, I'm going to copy and paste this stuff in chat as well. So you guys can get the links um, as well. Okay. So if you're up for sort of a little entertainment in terms of economics, Kaiser Report is not bad. Okay. Uh, don't take everything he has to say to heart. He has been wrong on many occasions. Okay. Uh, another one I've started dabbling in. I know Michael Hodson. Uh, I've listened to his work a lot. I've read a fair bit of his articles and stuff. Uh, he's not bad. He's pretty good. Okay, this guy, oh, you won't see him because here, let me show you his picture. This is him right here. Okay, he's well worth listening to. I don't agree. Again, I don't agree with everything everybody has to say, but I like this guy. He's being sincere. Okay, so Michael Hudson is also not bad is not bad to follow it gives you a nice perspective from a certain end of the spectrum okay to get a feel for what things might be going on okay few things i do check on a daily basis really i follow economics i've been following economics for a number of decades and i check oil prices and i go to um Business News Network is a Canadian uh, oil, Canadian Network uh, business news thing, and they have here. Let me show it here. They have crude oil, light crude. You know, they show you the charts here, right? And I ch check light crude, which is basically the the standard to which everything's measured to, and I also check Western Canadian oil sands or tar sands i don't know what it's uh, what it stands for come on hold on let me click on this okay it's not popping up hey west texas like crude and anyway if you click on this one it'll take you it should take you i'm not sure why brave's not doing it because i haven't this is the first time we're using brave right here it should take you oh, it's not doing it there so i check both prices this one really applies to the this guy right here really applies to Canadian markets okay uh, so that's one place I check my the URR is changing is it changing oh the URR is changing but it's not changing the title of it so I'm not sure why okay the price is not changing either no West crude is uh, is at twenty eight dollars. This thing's showing at thirty eight. So URL is changing, but the ah, thanks for that. You can see the URL changing. Nice. Okay. So I check oil prices. I check commodities. Okay, and I just use Bloomberg for commodities. Okay, and if you go here. Okay. And you know, I do a little scan here, but the main one I'm checking when I go to Bloomberg, you can see the oil oil here as well, right? You got the energy index and whatnot. But the main one I'm checking here is gold, the precious metals. This is the one I check for precious metals. I check the gold, gold place. And what you can do is in general just click on it and it'll take you to a graph here. Let me show you the graph. It'll take you to a graph here. Hey. It'll take you to a graph here. Okay. And then you can click on full view if you want to see the full view of the graph. Right. Play around with it. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I don't. Uh, 
Yeah, Bloomberg, don't follow Bloomberg for politics or economic news or anything like this. It's just garbage, right? Really, it's just garbage. The only reason I use this for is because it gives me the number. I don't read any analysis on Bloomberg or any advice they give you or anything like this. Okay, it's just garbage. How are pork bellies doing these days? I'm not sure, but I'm assuming they're going to go up at some point, right? Uh, another thing I do is, oh, hold on, let me grab this. Come on. Oh, I got to take it to the end. Copy. I go to Google Finance and I have a whole bunch of Oh, because I'm not logging in. I'm on Brave. Anyway, I go to Google Finance. Google Finance. Let's just go to Google Finance. I have a list of stocks that I track on Google Finance. And the only reason I do it, you can, you know, check a stock. For example, you could go, what should we check? Tesla. Tesla. Hey. Tesla. If you go to Tesla, you know, you can click on it. It shows this up. And if you have an account on Google, you can, a little follow button shows up here and you can follow it, right? And you can click on the, the charts and take a look at the charts. Google Finance used to have a lot of metrics that you could use, but Google being what they are, they introduce stuff and then they take it off. So pe they screw people over, right? Horrendous. They've done this multiple times, right? And they only go, you know, whatever, back to... 2000, well, 2010 is when Tesla came on the market, right? But uh, basically, I uh, don't put your eggs in the in the Google basket. They continuously change things up. Okay, you can go to Dow Jones and follow the Dow Jones, right? And you can do a max, and it takes you all the way back for Dow Jones. It takes you all the way back to 1980, uh, but it should take you back further. But S and P would be further, I guess. S and P 500. It was called something else for the S&P, I believe, past 1990. I forget what it was called, okay? So you can take a look at the graphs. There's no metrics here. You're not doing analysis. You're just following the data. If you do want to do hardcore analysis, go on some of the more substantial stock tracking and analysis websites. There's tons of them out there. Okay, find one that you like, follow that, okay? Another one I follow, of course, I check cryptos daily and by the way oil gold stocks cryptos i check daily and i check multiple times a day i like data uh, no thanks so this is you know your cryptos and what you can do if there's any crypto specific you want to follow and you can sort this out based on price you can go here a change in the last 24 hours here let me reduce this so you see you can go change in the last 24 hours and sort the data according to the change in the last 24 hours take a look at the data you can go to price volume market uh, market cap you know put bitcoin up top right and then you can click on the graph and it'll take you to a bigger graph of the thing where you can see the volume the volume is ridiculously important right volume that's going on you can do this you can do comparisons of what uh, all that just what is bitcoin cash bitcoin cash is when bitcoin original bitcoin did a split between and went bitcoin cash and bitcoin classic and stuff like this a fork of bitcoin a fork of bitcoin thank you very much dice power okay so those are my main these guys here are my main sort of sources of economic stuff i follow there are others straight up there are others i'm just giving you some of my main ones okay i sort of picked enough um, for us to be able to do a stream on now in terms of independent sources of news and information things that i check sometimes daily depending on what's going on sometimes weekly sometimes i only check them monthly right uh, but i check them they and I've been checking them for a while. Some of these people have moved around a little bit, uh, so I move with them. One of them, if you're interested in Canadian independent perspective on what's going on, 
is Yaya Canada. She has been around for a while. She's a senior citizen that blogs. If you're interested in Canadian perspective on what's going on, yeah, yeah, Canada. Okay. Uh, I like her. She rocks. She's your granny that rocks, right? She's been around. She knows where it's at. On the right hand side of her website, she has previous posts. Okay. So it's well worth checking out. This is like Chicho of old, a man of numbers and information most fantastic awesome elder god yeah this is like seriously i'm doing an information dump here and numbers dump just letting you guys know what i'm tracking and how i come about my perspective on what's going on in the world okay i know this is a lot of info but i spend a lot of time following info reading info tracking numbers looking at stuff i like it matt talabi taba tayabi okay He's gone to a new platform. Sub, uh, subscribe. Oh, come on, let me read first, right? So this is where he is, and this is economic as well. I should be really pu putting this in economics. Okay. Awesome link. Thank you. Love to learn about what Canadians think. Yeah, VC. She's and she's not. She's woke Canadian, like she rips things apart i don't agree with everything she has to say but man rock and roll really more power to her okay so fantastic matt taibi okay awesome read his stuff if you're interested in economics uh economic slant okay as well as the political slant of things he lays it out pretty nicely okay what do you think is the most reliable way to find information i'm sharing it right now emily okay um and forums i'll show you some forums one of the ways is to go on certain forums that's why i shared our discord page first because right now you're getting a perspective from me telling you what i'm checking out on our discord page you're going to see a lot of people okay sharing their bits of information maybe music maybe comic books maybe this so forums are a great way to find information sources of info right like some of the stuff that i post some people disagree with me right like donite he's one of our mods on discord one of our original mods on twitch and discord right and me and him don't see eye to eye on everything but that's okay that's beautiful right he calls me out on certain things and i go whoops sorry and then i call him out on certain things and we have a little discussion about things right so you want to get the spectrum okay so forums is a great way to do it but make sure you're not in a forum that's a bubble you don't want to be in a bubble emily okay dice power okay crypt so people are talking to each other that's fantastic Ch -ch 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 -ch. uh no problem chicho one of the reasons i talk so much about having a diverse audience and having different perspectives is because it's the only way to not be in a bubble 100 percent agree right coolio chicho okay sorry I've been here the whole time, but was doing several other things at once. I'm now fully present. I will catch up. Okay, awesome. Okay. Doing good, Coolio. Thank you very much. Okay, so certain websites and blogs. I like these that you have listed. Yeah, certain websites and blogs. Go to the sources. Okay, forget about CNN, ABC, BBS, PBS, NPR and stuff. You can check some stuff out there, but don't rely on them to give you the full picture because they will not. Okay. Unfortunately, a lot of the internet forums are a little more than virtual echo chambers. Agree Catholic traditionalists. Our Discord page is not an echo chamber as far as I've seen it so far. There is disagreement and you want to be somewhere where there's a lot of disagreement. Not a lot, but enough disagreement to give you a full picture of what's going on. And as Elder God has said, I think things are moving away from a lot of forums and discord to specific groups of people talking and sharing information. And make sure you're in ones that do not censor like mad. Okay. Here's another person that hit my radar once he wrote a couple of one article. I've read a couple of articles from him. Okay. Edward Curtin's. I haven't read enough of him to uh, endorse or know how much I agree with him. But what I've read of him, I liked. Okay. 
candy for the brain puts in questions that you should know an interview with me by patrick uh, tapolano i haven't seen this one i haven't actually read one of his articles for a while now uh the shallow deep state goes deeper as it moves towards martial law right so it gives you a good perspective but this thing that you're seeing here this title that you're seeing here this could be from the left from the right doesn't make a difference right read the article to see what it where it's at right uh, what type of information they are sharing I'm gonna make a note to myself and read this a little bit more okay uh, Caitlin Johnson you want a warrior here you go here's a warrior for you this lady knows where it's at but shh. Caitlin Johnson read her articles oops I don't want that I want this let me bring up the chat and link you guys up Caitlin Johnson read her articles okay I'm just gonna bring this up make sure the titles are appearing and stuff Johnstone yeah and you see the you're seeing the URL so that's great okay as you can tell I'm not bookmarking I was planning on bookmarking but we've got a lot of links to go through right I want to make sure I cover it all uh, and once we cover it all then we can expand on things right she writes a lot of articles she doesn't hold back she supports Julian Assange she calls BS when she sees BS she calls out everyone there's extreme people who live in bubbles that don't like her haha <laughs> you know she's doing it right right supporter read her articles she's on Twitter she's getting bigger and bigger okay I've been following her work for a while now okay let me give you oh I got a YouTube link here YouTube's supposed to be somewhere else but which one is this one and by the way if you got a YouTube channel ah oh, this is my Bill Hicks <laughs> follow this is okay there's a Bill Hicks YouTube channel people you want some truth from distance past follow this YouTube channel they are staying up to like check this out four days ago four days ago five days ago they released videos one month ago one month ago and a whole bunch of videos they're constantly releasing old footage of Bill Hicks interviews stand-ups music if I can if I can suggest one thing you follow oh there's a couple, oh I should have another one here the Terrence McKenna one um, it's on our discord maybe I'll grab it um, plants uh, uh, we are plants is also fantastic but this one Bill Hicks follow this work people get to know Bill Hicks you will be better for it okay you will be better for it that's why I included this in the info happy plants happy plants I think it's called we are plants let me check this out let me let me bring up our uh, let me go here I'll give you the other link of um, there's Bill Hicks that I follow on a regular basis right and if we go to philosophy boop. if you go to our philosophy by the way gang I'll link this up to oh this is new media I don't want new media poop that's right here's a actually I'll give you that later sorry if I'm going too fast if you're gonna get dizzy let me know I'll slow down a little bit uh, but I like going speedy Gonzalez this one happy plants we are happy plants okay we are happy plants let me give you this link these guys are dedicated on the same level as Bill Hicks to uploading audio lectures interviews segments full lectures and interviews from Terence McKenna philosophy way of being good information okay uh, well worth checking out saucy Rossi how are you doing welcome welcome I just watched, watched Bill Hicks for the first time today really like it Zyrek yes oh you're gonna love Bill Hicks you're gonna love Bill Hicks and remember he was doing this stuff in the 1980s and 19 early 1990s right fast car how are you doing welcome welcome okay back to individual people 
that you can follow so so far we've got bill hicks we've got terence mckenna we've got caitlin johnson we've got edward curtains we've got matt taibbi we've got yaya canada we got paul craig roberts oh did i give you the link for terence mckenna i did here's paul craig roberts oops did i give that yeah paul craig roberts let me give you paul craig roberts come on good info regarding geopolitics and geopolitics and uh, economics and whatnot okay i've been following this guy's work for a while now what i really like with his i read his articles and stuff okay recently published articles this guy these guys here okay oops these guys here okay so i read what's coming here not all of it but some of it i used to read all of it but i try to watch all of his interviews on every station that he goes to okay like i've seen i've seen the bottom three i haven't seen the sputnik news one or reddit oh maybe i have uh this one as well okay paul craig roberts okay and i was gonna mention one other thing too this thing and i forgot to i overwrote it this is a six hour interview with Robert Anton Wilson. If you have never seen this, Robert Anton Wilson explains everything. It's an audio interview. Put six hours aside, turn it on, put around the house, take care of your plants, do some weeding, do whatever, lay back, close your eyes, listen to this interview. I've listened to this and I believe it's supposed to be seven hours, but for some reason, I think there's an hour of it missing, uh, probably because of copyright laws and whatnot, or they couldn't get the rights for it. Um, I've listened to this interview, six hour series, at least, at least four times in my life. Every few years I go back into it, listen to it from beginning to end to ground. Sometimes I do it over a three day period, listen for two hours, listen for two hours, listen for two hours, right? Fantastic. If you have never ever listened to Robert Anton Wilson explain everything to you, do so. Extremely important. Bill Hicks, Terence McKenna, Robert Anton Wilson. This is Robert Anton Wilson at his best. Amazing. Everything. Listen to it. Very important. Okay. Coolio says apologies if this is a repeat question or if you've answered already but are there any new sources you used to follow but recently uh or in the in the past dropped or changed your opinion oh for sure there like if you look at my previous news sources you'll see i mentioned some news sources that i'm you're not going to see in this stream i'm not sharing those either because i'm not really going there anymore Maybe I might check them once in a blue moon, or I don't agree with them. I'm putting on major filters when I watch. Like, I know there's, it's just too much propaganda, too much propaganda, too much, too much garbage. But I still, sometimes I check them out just to see what they're presenting. And sometimes they cover good info, right? And that's the only reason I go there for, right? But they have a major bias. One of them would be democracy now. Democracy now, I used to listen to it fairly often. I don't anymore. I still do every now and then just to see certain perspectives, but I wouldn't recommend it. The words that they use, they're, they're, they're manipulating, right? So if, you don't, if you're not aware how they are manipulating you, then you're going to get duped into their hype, right? So there are places I don't go to anymore for sure i love democracy they are independent vc there's a lot of garbage from democracy now i basically you could see them change their tune right as soon as trump came into power they started calling trump a liar their pre president a liar but for eight years obama was lying and i watched democracy now for that period right and they never called obama a liar even though he was lying through his teeth like just pure garbage lie after lie after lie obama is as far as i know obama lied more than trump 
in his four first four years then trump has lied not that trump is a nice guy trump is a lying piece of whatever but so is obama then why would you change your language to say that while you didn't say this right they also uh democracy now also started promoting some of the uh rhetoric of the trump administration obama administration to make enemy of the other right they would call the iranian government a regime meanwhile they wouldn't call the saudi or the allies of the united states regimes right so they're using words to manipulate people be careful with democracy now right i used to love amy goodman man i'm very disappointed very disappointed and many other people are as well including aaron mate including uh jeremy scale including a lot of people that used to follow democracy now right very disappointed and i still love one right the nation stephen cohen Boop. this guy's articles stephen cohen you want to get understanding of russian perspective of why certain things are taking place and it's not a russian perspective of a western historian's perspective information straight up of what's going on in russia in the europe in the middle east but mainly focused around the activities surrounding russia this person you want to follow read his work he's speaking truth okay cutting through the bs very very important stephen f cohen well versed in history he knows his stuff better than most people you'll ever come across better than very well spoken okay and he's a vc this guy you would have known if you watch democracy now he's appeared on democracy now a lot when he appears on democracy now i watch him right if i catch him okay very important uh vc they might not use language the best but they still bring up stories to a large audience that are completely ig ignorant by the mainstream media yeah they do all right but for me i've gone to a level where i don't need to be spoon-fed right i i want a larger perspective such as what stephen cohen's giving right um uh, and some of the stuff democracy now you know did they democracy now if you see here's the thing with democracy now you know when they lost complete full credibility they really lost it right and most independent news uh, journalists and stuff would agree that really are worth their weight in gold right democracy now lost it because for th three years they promoted russiagate Russiagate this, Russiagate this, Russiagate this. I uh, my my jaw was open when I was watching Amy Goodman propag propagandize the audience, Democracy Now's audience. Russiagate this, Russiagate this. She bought that thing, hook, line, and sinker. Was it because Democracy Now, George Soros supports Democracy Now in a big way? Was it mandated from the top down for them to cover Russiagate? Because anybody that looked at this thing for more than two seconds knew that russiagate was complete garbage just pure bs coming out of the dnc meant to uh divide the united states of america right create turmoil right it was pure garbage everybody knew it amy goodman knew it okay but she still continued to propagate the bs very disappointed very disappointed most people were very disappointed indirect either way she, democracy now promoted talked about just take a look at how much russia gate information they talked about for three years unbelievable just pure garbage that said democracy now does an excellent coverage of palestine israel democracy now does a really good coverage of south america okay latin america democracy now does a pretty good coverage of the middle east in general okay but when it comes to europe russia united states united states domestic policy to a certain degree but it is in a bubble 
it doesn't show a certain perspective and i've caught them misrepresenting information and i don't i don't expect everyone to be true all the time but for three years pushing russia gate was insane okay literally it was crazy okay alistair cook here's another person you want to follow read their article in-depth article i hope i gave you the other link stephen cohen's link did i give you stephen cohen's link yeah i did that's a good perspective thank you i don't usually watch them for u.s politics uh, my pleasure you see i've been following them recently for their coverage as a bolivia coup yeah they do they do a good job for south america right why because of Juan, right he knows his stuff very well and does and does amy goodwin amy goodwin did that coverage i, I really don't know why they went crazy with russia gate insanity okay emily chicho do you think that there is one type of government that is the best or is a mix of different types of better mix of different types better every region of the world requires different types of um, collaboration and everything must be homemade there is no one set of one way of being for every place in the world because everybody has different resources different religions different beliefs different family structures different social structures different climate different climate uh, affects people right really it affects people it governs the way uh, a community a society should be we are living on this planet we every every uh, animal plant every living species on this planet governs their lives based on climate why aren't we it's crazy graham no size fits all always a case by case basis. always a case by case basis alistair cook well worth reading well worth reading i'm way behind on this guy's articles right but this guy is well worth reading really people in-depth articles in-depth articles okay read the stuff america's uh psychic secession defines global politics too statues fall amid civil civil war the coup versus the woken revolution right you might not agree with everything he has to say i don't but man read it independent thought see what an in-depth perspective is regarding certain situations okay asia time pepe escobar this guy keeps on moving around i actually this this link was dead earlier but this is the last link i have of him is it dead oh no it's there right on right on uh, what was the last article june 24th right on pepe escobar read his articles okay you got cookies going on you got cookies going on pepe escobar fantastic perspective on latin america he's brazilian living in asia right uh and he goes in europe and stuff as well right uh in on the boots on the ground perspective on brazil and south america on the ground in asia okay covers a lot of perspectives on china and the one belt one road initiative again don't agree with everything he has to say he does have a slant in a certain way but gives you the information as is okay uh, take a look at it okay he doesn't definitely he definitely doesn't cover everything regarding china how the extreme bad side of it, bad side of china because that's important but one of the reasons he doesn't cover it is because there's no good side to compare to right everyone china bad 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 but damn the west has been bad 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 globally for a gazillion years now like horrendous right who's the, who's the legit player here okay so he's worth reading pepe escobar any relation to pablo escobar no <laughs> other than uh, south america i guess pablo escobar was uh uh what do you call it panama wasn't he no escobar is a common hispanic last name indeed it is indeed it is okay why iran iran won't be broken he's got a great perspective on russia and iran as well and he is right iran will not be broken uh warmonger paints trump a peacenik 
right? Russia aiming to realize greater Eurasia dream, pipe, pipe, a pipe, Pipanistan fable for our time. He he's been writing about Afghanistan pipelines, oil, energy a lot. His focus is very much energy oriented as well. Okay. Ch -ch -ch. So Pepe Escobar, well worth following, well worth reading. Okay, very well worth reading. Moon of Alabama. Moon of Alabama. Moon of Alabama. Geopolitical analysis. Worth reading. I don't read everything he has to say, but I go there on a regular basis. You know, I go there once or twice a month at least. And just check out what they're putting out or what he's putting out. Deutsche Lufthansa deal shows how bailouts should be done, right? Please support Moon of Olva. Please support him. A mask is not a political statement. It's an IQ test, right? He writes about everything, okay? Open thread. Uh, Pompey's UN, uh, Pompey's UN move against Iran will fail. Why is he still pressing it, right? So geopolitics. He's basically, to a certain degree. Uh, the way I pre I present information, but he goes a lot deeper regarding certain topics. Okay, so well worth following if you're into geopolitics and whatnot. Okay. Consortium News, one of the best independent sources of news out there. They bring in a lot of uh, guest writers on here. Okay, and they have a YouTube channel follow i've i've turned on notifications on on their youtube channel and they do live stream three hour discussions okay to an hour two hour three hour discussions they support julian assange they've been on it from day one okay a lot of the best journalists that have been reporting independent journalists that are reporting over the last number of decades come on consortium news write articles and participate in their live stream open discussions that they have okay watch their live streams and here let me give you the link to their youtube channel as well oops here's their youtube channel i subscribe to this by the way if you don't see this my subscribe button here is because we're on what do you call it uh we're on uh the different browser it's not my main browser that i use right hold on a second what's going on let me turn go here and here's the link to consortium news subscribe turn on notifications okay subscribe turn on notifications uh graham chicho do you think a traditional blog is a good way to get a message out there to many eyeballs i tend to think it's uh think live streaming and video is best these days uh traditional blog sure works as well right and if you're doing in-depth analysis writing and stuff like this it's a good thing to do people will read but making videos and streaming and discussions is a good way but i know people that just like reading articles right i read articles a lot of the people that you see here that i'm linking up to you guys i found through reading articles and in reading an article you find out you know how strong their metal is really and consortium news is phenomenal man phenomenal like they interview max blumenthal and uh wolf and uh this guy brian becker is fantastic right brian becker they got like uh, bill benny you haven't you haven't listened to bill benny listen to bill benny right they got uh, they got like really if you haven't listened watched these their videos you don't know what's going on you you just go to consortium news and start listening to their backlog of information and just listen 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 after a few hours you'll get a good perspective of what's really going on in the world okay coolio chicho could you post uh that list uh your reference in discord at the end of the stream um i'm trying to uh, take uh, uh, note every but yeah for sure if you want I'll link it up right now gang I'm gonna go to discord and post this link right now or should I do it later it's a long list 
let me do it later because maybe it won't let me do it uh, okay but i will coolio i'll definitely link it up should, should i link it up right now how strong their metal is i fucking love that a perfect way to warn a ripper. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you like. It. Very important, right? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I'll link this up after I finish all this. Okay, Coolio. So, consortium news. Great info. Great info. The Black Agenda reports. Straight up info. No holding back. If Malcolm X was around. He'd be writing for Black Agenda Report. I don't read everything they got, but I listen to the main guy. I forget his name. He puts out a lot of stuff. Black Agenda Report. Uh, okay. Follow them. They have a YouTube channel as well. Okay. They do podcasts. Uh, a lot of people do writing. On this site you want to know what's going on in regards to justice uh, the black community imperialism uh, accountability right seize the time or face fascism let me check this out here hey that was a little picture of no okay here let me show you this I gotta show you this since I mentioned Malcolm X there you go they're just using malcolm x as one of course right that's not a chip on my shoulder that's your foot on my neck right really if malcolm x was around he would be writing for black agenda report okay martin luther king wouldn't malcolm x would i would be reading this okay gang very important very important Ch -ch -ch. The Real News Network. I check these guys out. I've been checking out these guys for a very, very long time. I've been checking out these guys as long as they've been around. When I when they came online, I made a post on my blog saying, Real News Network has come on. Their backers are very good. They share good information. They actually linked to my blog on their website saying chicho promotes us because at the time i was writing a lot i was my channel my blog was getting a on people's radar right so independent blogger supports real news network just a little snippet right i was proud of that i didn't know they were they were they were, they were following my work or any of them noticed it right they have great uh different independent discussions they got long discussions they have with communities especially in baltimore right in chicago they do a little bit as well they um i believe chicago they do a little bit as well they do good analysis on the middle east they talk about u.s domestic policy they talk about the environment they talk about they have shows coming online that talk about bds and middle east and this show is fantastic why you should give a fuck right this is episode three i watched episode two and it was really really good i think believe coolio watched episode one and he mentioned it was really good i haven't watched episode one or episode three yet right this is new series that they started so there's series coming on and they go off right aaron mate was working on here they interview max blumenthal here a lot there's a lot of people and it's a canadian u.s perspective okay well worth following you don't have to listen to all their stuff you don't have to check all their stuff but scroll down see if anything interests you click on it have a sometimes they do articles as well but i usually don't read their articles i like their videos okay they have a youtube channel obviously so if you want independent news straight up it's pretty good what else aaron schwartz day anyone remember aaron schwartz oh let me link this up to you guys did i link up real news oh i didn't link up the real news here's real news in chat and by the way gang i will post this list on discord okay uh so don't worry about that 
uh, you don't have to grab all these uh, as I'm listing them. Aaron Schwartz, who was one of founding members of Reddit, uh, they went after him because he was sharing information. He released, just look into it, right? It, he, he was a gazillion times smarter than I was at his age, really okay and he was either suicided or the the government pushed him so far that he ended up committing suicide right either way devastating loss to humanity devastating loss to the united states this is what your government does okay devastating devastating loss to the internet community okay aaron schwartz day and international hackathon follow this i don't go there every day i don't go there every week but i check it out once a month at least okay just to see what's up it's not on a regular basis they're posting last that was june 19th this one was june 15th oh they're posting more regular um this one was june 1st so you know three three posts in a month right so you don't have to go there every day go there once a month and see what they got up and get caught up okay i still need to catch up for june okay worth it worth it did i link that up i don't know if i linked that up here's a link for it gang what else we got the gray zone are you following the gray zone you want independent journalism you want to be following gray zone they got a youtube channel they got a podcast turn on notifications okay and follow their work i i have their youtube notification turned on too bad they're not on bitshoot because i would have the bitshoot notification turned on right i follow their feeds on twitter i follow a lot of people's feeds on twitter i'm not sharing my twitter feeds right now okay at some point if you guys want i'll share my twitter feeds as well uh, but we won't have time right now right uh, but the gray zone project okay fantastic in-depth journalism in-depth interviews in-depth podcasts they tell you what it is fantastic this one was fantastic norma finkelstein on israel and this is pushback by aaron maddie so i'm going to show you that as well okay um so very good very good work you want to be here you want to minimum i i actually follow them on patreon and i get notifications from their patreon posts right uh telling me what's going on and pushback with Aaron Mate is I watch everything that's done on there okay everything that's done on there yeah VC Norman Finkelstein is awesome 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 glad to see him mention 100% and I got Norman Finkelstein's website coming up too yeah poor guy was fine unbelievable unbelievable right pushback by Aaron Mate fantastic watch everything this guy does okay and he's uh from my hometown vancouver okay he's canadian uh and he's gabo mate's son okay antiwar.com i've been following these guys forever all right one of the old school websites that shares straight up news and information that is pro peace the main guy who started this passed away unfortunately last year i believe okay it was sad i i was pretty uh, i don't i want to say depressed i was very very sad that he passed away okay uh, but he was a smoker uh, you reap what you sow right uh, it, it was unfortunate right but they keep you up to date if you want to stay up to date with the short frequency low amplitude news some people will consider it noise and connects it up to the big picture antiwar.com is it okay follow these guys if you want to stay up to date with date with geopolitics okay then I link up anti-war here's anti-war okay norman finkelstein you want to check out norman finkelstein's work you wanna check out norman finkelstein's work this guy deserves respect this guy deserves respect okay 
He writes articles. He does interviews. He doesn't hold back. He's a real human being. Okay. He supports BDS, rightfully so. Rightfully so. He knows his history inside out in regards to the Middle East. You want to read articles, listen to interviews, uh, lectures from someone that under, like, he's, he hasn't been wrong on anything that I've seen, right? Regarding the Middle East, this guy knows where it's at, okay? Doesn't hold back. This guy should be one of the top people online that people read regarding the Middle East. He is not because he has been technocrats and the powers that be try to silence him damn chicho i've been following finkelstein for 10 years i'm so glad to see you advocate 100 percent. one of the if you don't read anything else uh, well there's a, some amazing people i've listed here by the way but normal finkelstein i've seen him live right uh, he came to vancouver and i listened to his lecture i believe i have one of his books signed okay not that i you know i do hero worship or anything like this but this guy deserves full respect really really i've been trying to spell finkelstein for 10 years <laughs> funny funny okay those are some of the independent sources that write articles and um, interviews lectures and stuff that i follow right i follow two people that do political cartoons one is on the right graphics one is on the right okay just letting you know don't agree with everything he, he does but damn right straight up let him oh come on stop these pop-ups he changed his website a while ago a year and a half ago and he does little pop-ups and stuff i really hey look little winnie the pooh <laughs> and you can just click on here and read look at his cartoons right his political cartoons so if you're into political cartoons graphics is pretty good from the right right and here's one from the left mr fish mr fish mr fish you can scroll down same deal you can click on these and totally different art perspective totally different art perspective as you see a few moon what's other god nice <laughs> and political cartoons as well right no holding back that's the way you want your political cartoons to be not whitewashed say it the way it is no holding back image is worth a thousand words right like the variety of the style yeah very harsh very harsh very harsh this one no hold back and there's actually a documentary on mr fish okay so i haven't seen the documentary and mr fish uh and chris hedges work together okay a little bit chris hedges uh, commissions him for some of the artwork and stuff like this here's some youtube channels how are we doing for time gang okay let's go through the speedy gonzalez style let's go through the speedy gonzalez style empire files i got notifications turned on right i don't check out everything they do but i check out what they put out empire files okay well worth following right well worth following an hour 18 minutes cool we got 40 minutes to go through this thanks elder god okay they do interviews they do documentaries well worth following they've been around for a long time okay abby martin is her name know it she does great work what's this one what's this one what do we got what do we got we got the hill this is news daily news i have notifications turned on with these guys as well i don't follow everything they put out i don't agree with everything they put out but it gives me the short frequency stuff right what's going on on daily weekly basis in the united states they don't show the grand design they show the noise right sometimes it's important to know what's going on in the 
short-term basis so you can connect it up to the long term right again i don't look at everything they put out i don't agree with everything they put out but they do cover u.s politics well better than democracy now what else we got did i link you up i did link you up nice what else what else we got we got we got oh this is the consortium news website the sorry not the website the youtube channel so here's their youtube channel i know linked it up before and we won't spend any time on it but we'll do it two of the newscasters from the hill were just on joe biden's podcast and it it was well received from what i hear so they're probably gonna boom in popular really on joe rogan's podcast okay not joe biden i was like joe biden's podcast what joe rogan's podcast yeah those would be the main two people i believe i forget their names the girl and the guy um i forget their names but they're already big man they're already like six hundred thousand followers right and i've been following these guys when they were below like fifty thousand. like they were just starting out right so pretty good what are they called uh crystal crystal is the girl yeah and i forget the guy's name okay not bad what do we got i'm pretty sure we got jimmy dory next let's check it out let's check it out just check it out jimmy dory show you don't follow jimmy dory you're missing out follow jimmy dory i don't check out everything he puts out i don't agree with everything he puts out he's not correct on everything take it with a grain of salt but he's pretty bang on on a lot of analysis that he does rips apart the democrats rips apart the republicans rips apart the status quo rips apart corporate propagandas rips apart the centralized state okay i can't carry all these grains of salt and <laughs> graham i love it right so check it out jimmy door is pretty good man jimmy door is pretty good what else we got what else we got everything with a grain of salt your blood pressure is going to go through the roof newsy i check out some of the stuff they put out they're really quick basic info okay it, it's it's pretty good really it's just little short blips usually just two minutes one minute little news briefs three minutes four minutes five minutes the longest one i've seen is like eight minutes most of the stuff is like two minutes even one less than one minute right a little short oh yeah they got this guy too this one is a new thing i i watched a couple of these i wasn't too into it uh, i wish they cut it up more but i think the little short segments appear they're taken out from the big segments okay so newsy is pretty good too if you want to short frequency stuff keep up with the noise right keep up with the noise if you want to what else we got what else we got what else we got what else we got ntd check out these guys these guys are right leaning not right leaning they are right wing they are supported by bannon okay i believe stephen bannon has a show on here okay they support trump up the yin yang they are anti-china they produce a certain amount of propaganda against china however it is i found their reporting even though like seriously i'm sharing some something here that in general i wouldn't share share but it's important to also see eliminate the noise of the china bad to why china bad okay uh did i miss anything on jimmy dory i'm not sure lark did you miss anything on jimmy dory jimmy dory is pretty good follow jimmy dory okay controlled by bannon i threw up in my mouth a little Julio. I, I didn't say controlled by bannon i don't know if he's controlled by and they're controlled by bannon but they are extreme right okay bannon has a show on here okay but i do follow them for their short blips yeah elder god i do follow them for their short blips because the amount of good info that they're I'm getting from them because I've done some fact checking on these guys and they're correct on some of the stuff they're reporting. You're not going to see on other on the left media at all and the right media you're not and the noise media you're not seeing it because they're just about noise, right? So these guys are providing a certain bit of information that I'm not I haven't seen anyone else 
provide and that's one of the reasons i follow certain sites and certain people right yes i absolutely agree there's too much propaganda against china if it's not russia it's china or it's venezuela yeah lark agreed it is but it is they get into the economic the one thing i like about these guys is they get into the economics of what's going on with the one belt one road initiative right i've seen some stuff here that was never covered in anything else i've followed right so i check out what they're doing i subscribe to them i get notifications i read the title uh, and if i feel like it i watch what they put out right i don't like their smug faces really I, I watch this with a big grain of salt and dislike for the announcers and who they are however that doesn't uh uh, prevent me from consuming analyzing the information until they win haha <laughs> elder god okay did i link you up to that one no here's the link to them okay you want to follow them follow them you don't oh, is that the one? Oh, i don't think it oh yeah here's their this is their thing would you let me link it up oops not this guy come on i usually go to people's video thing so just to see what they put out this might be the type of right leaning i can tolerate a lot of times i can't tolerate the stupid news of far left or far yeah coolio and that's the reason uh very smug looking for indeed 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 what do we got what do we got let's see our next bit of come on what do we got what do we got ron paul report ron paul report gotta love ron paul i don't agree with him regarding COVID. i agree with him regarding geopolitics non-interventionalism okay i not, don't necessarily agree with him on all the economic factors of things but straight up ron paul report should be on your radar okay should be on your radar by the way i've brought kiwis to eat but we've got a lot of things to cover so i got no time to eat kiwis i eat kiwis with a spoon by the way okay once i cover everything i'll uh i'll have a little snack maybe Boop. activism munich follow them very important very important these guys are doing a fantastic job fantastic job okay they do an amazing job i'm subscribed my notifications turned on okay they cover assange they cover middle east they cover economics they cover politics uh, ron paul in the streets rupaul in the street. <laughs> right these guys are great they do amazing interviews with people they bring on some prominent people well-informed people and they discuss world events okay fantastic fantastic follow their work okay i cannot recommend them highly enough on that note regarding julian assange action for assange these are the only people that uh, and this is their twitch channel by the way they have a youtube channel where is their youtube channel oh i don't have their youtube channel on okay action for assange right now go there you're on twitch subscribe to their twitch channel they do live streams on tuesdays on saturdays i believe this is the only channel that on my twitch channel or our twitch channel i've set up to auto host okay so when i'm not doing a live stream if they're live streaming it's auto hosting okay their stream they're also on youtube okay so they they when they do the live streams they're broadcasting on youtube and uh twitch as well as another platform i don't know what the other platform is i initially came across them through youtube and during the chat in youtube i asked them you guys should be on twitch i said oh we're on twitch we just haven't had any footing on twitch yet right and i said okay let's see what we can do about it so i set them up as auto hosting on my channel and i'm promoting them right now right now gang i'm going to eat a kiwi go to their channel and sub to their channel 
if you want to follow news and it's not just Julian Assange okay they do talk about US domestic policy what's going on domestically and they do talk about uh, geopolitics foreign policy as well uh, it'd be nice to get them more subs more people interacting on their twitch channel okay yum look at this super delicious okay awesome stuff next what do we got what do we got did i link them up i think so yeah i did cool hey what do we got what do we got i believe this is this is their youtube channel let me link this up to you guys as well you can follow them on youtube of course right if you want to be on youtube so that's their youtube channel absolutely indeed and funny enough that was that's a typo and they load up videos and they cut their um you know they do little segments and stuff like this too they should anyway or maybe they don't it doesn't look like it i've seen the little segments on unity for assange actually because they simultaneously broadcast on unity for assange as well so action for assange good group of people sharing some amazing information okay laura flanders i haven't been checking her work for the last couple of months two or three months but sincere straight up uh lots of love for this lady really and she brings in people interviews from people on the ground in the communities right building communities from uh community supported agriculture to educators to uh, political activists to people talking about reform in politics to finance decentralization laura flanders keep an eye on her keep an eye on the work that they're doing i know it will resonate with some of you graham i think you'll like what they're doing catholic traditionalist you might like what they're doing and i know some of some of you guys will probably like what they're doing as well okay let's see what else we got what else we got come on oh on contact with chris hedges i check out almost everything he puts out on contact with chris hedges he is on youtube okay he goes through rt like literally i check out you can just go to rt on contact with chris hedges and chris hedges is phenomenal he's the guy that wrote days of destruction days of revolt okay i've watched all of these interviews and this is the guy from uh, george floyd uh, not george floyd this is uh what's his name um glenn ford this this guy here is the guy that is the main guy from black agenda report okay awesome full respect to this guy okay his name is uh glenn ford okay follow chris hedges listen to i literally i've watched all of these interviews there might be like one out of 20 that i don't watch because i'm not interested in the topic or one out of 30. i think in the last two years i might have skipped two of them okay or last year now two years probably i, I think he's been on for a couple of years uh so maybe three okay great great information highly recommend highly recommend did i link that up to you guys i think so yeah on rt as well sofioco sophie and company right i don't watch everything here not even close right like from rt i watch on contact a lot all of them and um crosstalk almost all of them right on that spectrum her work is on the same level as kaiser report i watch maybe one out of 
10. Okay. But I do check out to see what she's... Oh, she did one with Richard Stallman. I didn't even know he, she, did, he did. She did one with Richard Stallman. Oh, my God. I'm going to be watching this. This is the reason why I come here. Okay. This is the reason why I come to her page. She brings on people from transhumanism, artificial intelligence, astronomers, a health specialist, economist, political activist, and... People like Richard Stallman. Dude, I am bookmarking this. Here, I'll link it up to you guys. Oh, yeah. Now I'm all excited. Yeah, not that I wasn't, you know, I was before, but this is fantastic. Richard Stallman. Yes, please. I'm going to pin this baby. Okay. So, Sophie Oko, well worth checking out. Just every couple of weeks, go on there and see who she's got if you're interested in a in an interview in some kind of discussion uh you know richard stallman uh defended jeffrey epstein right no i don't know that i didn't know that did he defend jeffrey epstein i don't know that i haven't heard that one before vc link it up to for us in on discord okay link it up for me on discord please i'd be amazed if he did on what level in terms of privacy maybe but i don't think he would have defended uh epstein in regards to who that piece of crap was right here's the other one i follow crosstalk okay richard stallman is fantastic in terms of open source software right in terms of privacy in terms of internet uh, freedom of information right i don't follow him for personal life obviously <laughs> he's, he's he's a little over the top for my taste right crosstalk very good i i check out almost everything they put out all the discussions uh they bring in a lot of people from the right uh conservative but they also bring in people from the left right so here richard wolf here right so he's left economist no doubt about it right so good discussions taking place here. It gives you a good geopolitical perspective as well as, um, what do you call it, uh, internal U.S. politics as well as Russia, as well as different parts of the world. Like this guy here that you see on, the, on this side here, he's one of the guys from uh, Jimmy Dory, right? So it's a good thing to follow. You want perspectives that bring in the full spectrum you don't want watch listen to podcasts and interviews and lectures and stuff to just live in a bubble you don't want that you got to give respect to peter lefay he's the host on this the main guy in the middle uh, for bringing in people from the full spectrum okay graham elwood which one is Graham Elwood? Is that the guy on the Jimmy Dory thing? Graham Elwood. I got to know that guy. Oh, and I highly recommend Jeremy Scale. Yeah, Jeremy Scale I don't have right now because I've been checking out his work for a while. But Jeremy Scale here is phenomenal. I was following his work very in-depthly. Okay. Here's one person you guys may not like. A lot of people may not like. He's on the right. Sticks Hammer sticks sticks hex hammer 666 right a lot of his stuff i don't like i don't have to like i like it that he's sincere he's given his perspective i don't follow his work on the occult i disagree with him regarding trump uh certain geopolitical events and stuff like this totally disagree with him on the other side of the spectrum but he is bang on regarding internet censorship privacy social media networks this is the guy by the way graham that i linked up you you thought he was pretty good uh that's why i said you know uh take him with a gigantic grain of salt but i i don't listen to everything he puts out but i listen to about 50 percent of what he puts out because i want to hear his perspective even if his perspective is against what i think because he provides a little bit of insight there that i didn't consider okay so and he's he's totally against the uh, demonstrations and black lives matters and all this jazz right 
and he's got a whole slew of stuff on the occult and whatnot uh, so i do follow his work i follow his work on bitshoot i've subscribed to him i turned on notifications he is actually the, the most subscribed person on bitshoot right now okay um and he does a good job and he lives in holland and he's from the united states okay i think i linked that up to you guys did i oh here here's a link for that okay worth listening to if you want to get a full spectrum yeah chicho the guy who's friends with jimmy dory grandma okay cool i like him i like him good evening chicho and chad chase hudson 26 how are you doing john stewart oh i don't follow john stewart that nasty and john stewart he's that comedian comedian isn't he here let me see his picture oh no he's in all lives matters oh yeah yeah he's one of the he's one of those people but he is bang on regarding youtube censorship privacy and stuff like this oh yeah no i don't follow john stewart man john stewart's nasty no 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 john stewart nasty juice media gang who follows juice media rap news i was following these guys when they were doing rap news my god such phenomenal work they do little segments honest government ads if you've been following my discord you've been to the chicho discord where we share information every single one of these that they put out i share on discord and they also have a podcast okay where they do long discussions they you know if you go here click on here it'll take you to the podcast they do an hour two hour discussions on podcasts they link it up on i believe they're on soundcloud as well um but they have it on i believe they load it up on youtube as well right but i mainly follow them for their honest government ads fantastic work i've subscribed to them on youtube and i got notifications turned on this is their website be surprised if a man that refers to himself as <laughs> was not involved in the occult yeah right juice media man and go back and listen to the rap news they put out from like 10 years ago awesome awesome okay awesome awesome john stewart is not in the spotlight anymore but he did a lot of good behind the scenes to get healthcare on compensation for 9 11 first response yeah i know about that about him i heard about that and he now he's working to help do the same for soldiers coming back with respiratory damage from the f uh, fire pits in the middle east ah. okay good on him man but some of the stuff when he was on the spotlight he had that talk show it was like oh it was cringeworthy should we go into comic books okay before we go into comic books gang let me give you some more stuff that i do in regards to news and information oh yeah these are two podcasts moderate rebel is max blumenthal and whatnot they put out their podcast on their moderate rebel on soundcloud okay moderate rebel hey nothing here what do you mean nothing here popular tracks oh did i grab the wrong link i grabbed the wrong ring sorry gang oh so move to moderate rebel soundcloud oh they changed their name where is their link don't you guys have a link there it is oh yeah that's what it is cool i gotta change this up hold on here's the link Boop. i haven't been here for a little bit when they move they moved I don't know why they moved. Let me update this. Cool. Save it. Okay. So this is basically Max Blumenthal, uh, Aaron Maté, and I forget the other guy's name. Um, uh, and ben Norton. Okay. This is Max Blumenthal and Ben Norton. And Anya, um, I forget her name. Okay. Uh, Papa, Papa or something. Uh, Max Blumenthal's wife now. They got recently married. Right. So... If you're into soundcloud you want to listen to podcasts they're pretty good okay uh good coverage here's the other podcast that i listen to i go there and every now and then they put one out a week and it's uh global research what news sources would you say is the least biased in one direction or the other oh, 
I'll have to think about that, Coolio. Okay. Least bias. Uh, least bias. I don't know. Global research news. Let me think about it, Coolio. Global research news hour. Okay. They put one out about a week, once a week in general. This is February. They didn't put out one for a while. That's the reason I didn't go there for a while. Okay. It's about a two hours sometimes. I believe there's two hours or an hour. I forget what they are. And they're on SoundCloud. Okay. They let me give you their SoundCloud link as well. And let me get their home page. This is all. This is all. Here's their SoundCloud. Okay. And they're great. They're Canadian based. Okay. They're Canadian based. And uh, they do great podcasts. They do world events. Okay. And uh, they cover a lot. They cover geopolitics. They go all over the place. Okay. They do health. They do technology. They do Iran. They do the Middle East. Uh, they do a lot. Okay. They cover the white helmets, covering who they are and whatnot. Okay. Uh, Catholic traditions. I posted this earlier, but I think it is worth posting again. Suggestions. Stay informed about local news as well. 100%. Local newspapers, school newspapers, uh, parish bulletins, community bulletin boards, etc. Might have news items that impact your life as much as as much or more than do sources of world news 100 percent, i agree with catholic traditionalists right uh, stay in touch within your community okay so those are some podcasts here's uh if you're interested in uh, certain types of info michael geist is fantastic in regards to internet uh, what's going on online in terms of privacy in terms of transparency in terms of net neutrality in terms of the economics michael geist he's based in canada but he covers united states and canada and europe uh, basically canada united states and europe he doesn't go global on that front right but he does mention certain things that whatever laws are being passed will affect global as well uh, i come here every now and then to check out what his take is regarding what's going on in canada specifically and he has a podcast as well right where he talks about internet information okay important important for all of us to know okay what else we got what else we got this is a podcast that i've just starting to check into okay i can't say much about this no mercy no malice okay prof galloway i think i put it on here so i could check on it more okay here's their here's their title stuff let's see higher ed enough already eye addiction four weddings and a funeral just don't post corona higher ed ba, 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 what we leave behind campus culture and i stanford i've listened to a couple of these um i don't you know I, I can't say much more than that i just added on here for me to check it out more okay been watching old videos to fall asleep to last one maddie gg last one was the recent math talk keep up the good great work <laughs> will do gg uh chicho been listening for, uh, from work for the past hour and a half awesome i hope you're liking it i hope you're liking it sharing sources of information here's a couple of other or three other uh come on three other people i've been meaning to read more often uh check out more often okay the american conservatives robert w mary okay i've only read one or two articles from him okay so i can't really say uh too much more other than i plan on reading a little bit more okay just to get a perspective on what's going on okay 
and another one bites the dust of cultural appropriation, right? Obviously, right leaning, right? But what I read, I enjoyed. I thought it was important. So relaxing and fun. Amazing combo. Awesome, Maddie. I'm glad you're liking. This one, I'm going Speedy Gonzalez, man. Just because there was so much to do here, right? How's our timing? Woohoo. We're pushing it. We're pushing it. Check out this one. Popular resistance. Yes, please. Okay. So I want to come here more often, check out some of their work just to see what's going on. Okay. Again, I haven't been here too often. Uh, just want to check it out. Elder God, question. Do you, do you sleep? I know I don't. But your commitment to information absorption is great. <laughs> nice. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Right. So popular resistance. Uh, I'm going to try to check out more often. Oh, I think I already had this guy linked up before, but we'll go here. Uh, Stephen N. Walt. No, we didn't. It was someone else from uh, foreign policy. And be careful with this okay i've read a couple of articles i believe uh from this and i just want to check it out more okay i don't endorse it i don't write it off uh i just want to check it out more okay now that's sources of politics economic news right but we got comic books here are the websites that i check for comic book stuff okay just because we've got to put the comic books in here. I'm going to go through the Speedy Gonzalez style gang and I'm going to link it up to you guys. I've mentioned this before. We did a comic books live stream where I showed you guys some of these websites, but I thought we'll do it again. Okay. Comic price guide. I check prices. I check out to see what's hot and whatnot. You just have to join their join them just you don't have to pay them and you'll see the top 50 that are changing price and you go to their main page they tell you what's hot what's not and what not right and take you know it's comic book stuff it's fun okay uh where did my comic book stuff go hey where is it oh i cut it out i didn't want to cut it out paste trending pop cultures i go here to check out check the latest info on what's coming out trending this week so i click on this i, I don't really check into anything else the guy's putting out but i just check check on these things trend trending this week and you know you click on it and he's got a little write-up of some of the comic books that uh, are coming out and they link up to ebay and you can check prices and whatnot and he does a little write-up on who's involved why it might be hot and whatnot which is not bad. Negan lives. Negan lives. I didn't realize Walking Dead Negan lives stuff is going out this week. Cool. Might have to pick it up. Might have to pick it up. Right? I do go to Reddit on a couple of places. Okay. Oh, I forgot to give you this one. Here. Oh, I'll give you this one. I go to Reddit Valiant forum. It's not too active, but I do check it out just to see. And I usually have all the... Uh, block i usually have all the special things turned off i just look at reddit when i'm logged in in plain text form right so i go to valiance reddit i go to comic books comic books okay or comic books as you know i check it once a week uh before or a couple times a week probably uh, but it's a lot of it's not bad it's okay right but right now i'm not surrounded by life as comic books right so it's pretty good check this out i was cleaning my dad's old house so it's nice to see these things right chicho data hoarding is great and uh, d exchange which is the data hoarding exchange cool awesome yeah i used to be on reddit a lot more but once they started implementing all the censorship and stuff i just don't spend my time too much on censors website as much as uh because i just don't like 
platforms where they censor the crap out of you, right? And I check out the image one, uh, way less often than Valiant and comic books, okay? And I do go to, and this is news related too, I go to our conspiracy, okay? That's my main uh, Reddit forum I go to, is the R conspiracy forum. And I've been on there since our conspiracy was at like 5,000 people. Now it's at, I don't know what it is, it's 1.5, 1.3 million. I don't know, most of those users are irrelevant. They're long gone and they're not active, so we're bogus, right? But I was on here from, from the get-go and there is still good information to be had here. Like some of my articles made it to the front page of our conspiracy and our politics and stuff like this, but I don't go to politics, world news, geopolitics, none of those other political forums anymore on Reddit because they're censor censored up the yin yang. They're useless, right? It's garbage, really. Okay. I go to eBay, uh, check out my stuff. I go to my comic shop, right? And I check prices here, and I've shown you guys this before, and it's a good place to check information. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Comic Book Plus is fantastic. Here's Comic Book Plus, if you want good comic book uh, info. Okay. Uh, reliable source. You can read old school books here right golden age books they got thousands of books that you could read for free from the golden age of comics and some from the silver age of comics and legally okay well worth going to you just do a little search and find books right i'm not gonna do it right now because we're running low on time but we looked at this before go collector did i link up that one to you guys oh i didn't did i yeah i did comic book plus here's go collector which do you read any other uh, contribution by the American Conservative? I, I've read every now and then, Coolio, um, but I haven't added it to my radar. Comic book price guide, uh, Go Collect is not bad. If you want to check prices, you can click on things and it'll take you to, you know, a thing. And there's usually a graphic. Here's a graphic telling you, you know, the ratings and the prices they've sold for recently and whatnot right how much they're going for so fantastic four graded 9.8 sells for ninety thousand dollars first appearance of black panther insanity right <laughs> awesome um comic book invest it's just the recent i went to comic store comic vine i go to uh on a fairly regular basis okay let me give you this one as well boop these guys are pretty good. Four minutes to go. Oof. <laughs> so these guys are pretty good. Comic Vine, uh, GameSpot.com. Okay. So you can get good info regarding specific comic books. So I do some research on here. Okay. Comics.org. Oh, I got it twice here. Comics.org. Comics.org. This place is really good. Great database. You can find some amazing work here. Okay. Uh, good information regarding comic books and whatnot. Okay, let me kill this guy. Okay, gang, and that is my sources of info. Okay, some of the stuff that I follow, and Chicho, <laughs> thank you, Here we'll bring this back up again okay uh let me close this so we're doing good um i'm sorry if i went that through that really speedy gonzalez style gang i love the classic green hornet and the shadow comics 100 percent the original shadows and phenomenal phenomenal right eisner i believe right will eisner uh so people have been asking me to share my sources info for a long time now right too many chichos, too many more these, too many more these. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, the universes of chicho. Uh, so I thought it was a good time to do. Okay. Uh, it was well worth it. And again, our Discord page is a good place. 
if you want to check out information okay gang uh, apologies if I didn't get a chance to interact with chat uh, as much as uh, uh, in other streams but uh, I thought it was important to get this out and I will provide this information on our discord page as soon as I finish the stream here as long as I remember if I don't please remind me aside from that mods thank you very much for taking care of business all the chichos are up thank you very much for taking care of business gang uh thank you for being here thank you for the conversations thank you for sharing information if you want to follow the work i am on patreon patreon.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o you can support this work through patreon you can follow this work through patreon i don't put anything behind paywalls everything is creative commons share and share alike right we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e okay so if you want to participate in the chat get into the discussions twitch is where you want to be at you should do info stream every so often i think we'll have to elder god just go through it because things are changing very rapidly and uh people have been asking me to do this for a while and uh, had to be done thank you very much Chicho. my pleasure lark have yourself a pleasant night you guys as well we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter gas minds vk lo and parlor now and all the links will be in the description of this video another wonderfully troll free evening of civil respectful discussion awesome awesome ripper chicho info streams are incredibly helpful informative and relaxing thank you my pleasure ripper my pleasure right we will be uploading the audio for the stream as a podcast on soundcloud soundcloud.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o so if you want to just listen to this live stream as a podcast soundcloud is uh, where you want to follow and we will be uploading this video to youtube and bitshoot uh, everything goes to bitshoot as long as technical difficulties allow as long as it's processing and almost everything will go on youtube and this will be on youtube okay and if you are on youtube you want to support this work you can join youtube membership uh subscribe that way and that's a great way to support this work as well okay thank you very much for being here gang and again for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon through twitch through um youtube through bitchu through anywhere thank you very much for your support direct and through third parties second parties or whatever it is very much appreciate the support i hope you guys have a fantastic evening uh morning and i'll see you guys tomorrow have a great saturday everyone have a great saturday cheryl good night morning for sure and if you can make it in about how many hours uh 12 13 and a half hours we're going to be reading mad number two from 1952 at 11 a.m pst pdt pacific west coast canada us my time we're going to read a comic book a golden no not a golden a holy grail we're going to read a holy grail of comic books okay looking forward to it gang have a great great evening everyone mods thank you for taking care of business Bye, everyone.